Good morning, Long Cane Middle School. It may not be morning when you're watching this, that's okay. Uh, I'm Mr. Giles, I'm the principal of Long Cane Middle School. I'm here to talk to you guys about something today that is super exciting. In Troop County School System and in the middle school division, we're gonna like turn teaching upside down next year. It's gonna be awesome and you guys get to be a part of it. If you're a current Long Cane sixth grader or seventh grader, that means next year you're going to be a seventh grader or eighth grader. You are going to experience some super cool things at school. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. And really just one part of it mainly, and that's you get to request to take electives that you have great interest in. You know, now, you know, you know how it's been. You don't get much say so in what courses that you want to take outside of your academic courses, but now you are. So I'm going to talk to you today a bit about these elective courses and how you can go about selecting those courses. But the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to pause for about, I don't know, I'm going to ask the teacher to pause the, this video and, and pass out a course selection sheet to all of you before we get started. Okay, so teachers go ahead and pass out the course offering sheet. And, uh, and then turn it back on when you get it all ready to go. Okay guys, now that you have your course selection sheet, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run through each of the offerings and what these courses are. And I know there's some different things in here you may have never even heard of, and that's okay, because I'm gonna try to explain them a little bit. You'll see some that you'll know that you're interested in. You'll probably see some that you're not interested in at all. Uh, but nonetheless, you get to, you get to select. Now, Here's the thing. Does that mean you're going to get everything that you select? I don't know, maybe not, because it's, it's really not possible for everybody to get everything that they want. We do, we are very optimistic though, that every student will get, you know, some of what they select. And that's a whole lot better than it's been right now, because you don't get selected at all. Okay? So as I talk about them, if you want, you can go ahead and make an annotation on the sheet, a check or something, if you see something you really like. Now I'm going to ask you to carry home this sheet to your parents tonight, to your folks at home. <clears throat> and I'm going to ask for you to review this with them. And this video that you're watching right now will be posted on Facebook, just like our morning announcements are every day. Also, I'll send it out on Cougar Chat so they can watch the video on Cougar Chat. It may well be by the time you get home they've already seen this video. We're also going to post it on our Facebook site and send it out on Twitter. So pretty much we've done every single thing we can do except me come to your house tonight and eat dinner and explain it, all right? So with that being said, let's recap. I'm gonna go over the courses. You're gonna kind of make a annotation, a check mark or something. If you like those courses, you're gonna carry the sheet home. You and your parents are gonna agree on which courses that you want to request. You're gonna bring this sheet back to school tomorrow. You're gonna give it to your homeroom teacher and then next week you're gonna to go to the lab and you're actually gonna to get to sit down on the computer and punch in in the computer which ones you want. So how cool is that, right? All right, so let's get going. All right guys, now we have several categories of electives. We have language arts electives, we have math electives, we have science electives, we have social studies electives. We, we will have some, some courses that are for high school credit. Those aren't exactly electives, although they're there. We do have uh, some pretty cool academic and competitive electives. We have some PE electives. We have some fine arts electives. And we have some career exploration electives. That's like your CTAE courses. So within each of these, there are a certain number of courses. Now let me tell you how this works. Most students will get to choose eight. Eight electives. That is if, if the electives are nine weeks long. So you get nine weeks, nine weeks, nine weeks, nine weeks. That's four. And then four more nine weeks courses. Now, what if you take an elective that is a semester long? Well, then that takes up two nine weeks. So then you only have six left. What if you take an elective that's three nine weeks long? 
Well, that takes up three of them, three of the eight. So now you only have five left. That's how it works. That's okay. Like, for instance, band and chorus are typically year-long courses. So if you want to take band, that's great. That will take up four of your eight electives. That will leave you with four choices left. Uh, eighth graders are required to take a course called Keystone, which is kind of sort of similar to the careers that we had this year. So one of their eight is going to be Keystone, whether you like it or not. You're getting Keystone. But you're going to like it because Keystone is awesome. And sixth graders are required to take keyboarding. So really, eighth graders and sixth graders have a choice of seven electives. And that being said, let's go into each of the categories now and talk about them. Okay, let's go with language arts electives. The first is yearbook. Everybody knows what yearbook is. Yearbook is it's actually a language arts class. It uh, is going to be taught, I think, first, second, and third nine weeks. And Mr. Wallace will be the teacher because he's the guy who makes the yearbooks. And there will be, I'm not sure how many students will be allowed doing this, but we will have probably somewhere along the lines of 10 to 12 or so students. If you're interested in helping make the yearbook, then you will select yearbook. And again, that is three nine weeks. So on the right side of your paper, we have those eight spaces. You would say first space, yearbook, second space, yearbook, third space, yearbook. And then you have five left. All right, the next elective is creative writing. Not sure what teacher's going to be teaching this. Creative writing is exactly what it sounds. A lot of people enjoy writing as a hobby. Uh, some people just write because the teachers make you write. Whatever the case, if you like to write, this is going to make you a better writer, and you're going to learn to be creative, and uh, I think you'll really enjoy this. This is a nine-weeks course. So if you want to take creative writing, out to the right on one of them little dashes there, you write creative writing, and that takes up one nine weeks. And also, guys, put a check in the left column. Like, there's a little column right to the left of your book or creative writing. Put a little check in there to, so you'll know that's the ones that you chose. Okay, the next course is Introduction to Public Speaking. If you like to stand up and talk in front of a lot of people, this is the course for you. Or how about, let's look at it like this. If you hate to stand up and talk in front of people and you think you need to develop that skill, which you really do, then this is a course for you. It's a nine-week course. So if you want to take public speaking in one of those spaces to the right, you write down public speaking, put a check by public speaking. Digital communications. This is a course. This is a nine-weeks course in which we'll be looking at, way, at communications uh, that are current current methods of communications on a digital platform. It used to be that we had newspaper. Schools had newspaper staff. Well, now you can still have newspaper, but have an online newspaper, or maybe have a blog. Let me tell you what this is not. It is not Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, anything else. It's uh, more of a, a business and industry type platform to communicate with people, and it's a nine weeks course. The final one in this area is SAT preparation. This is a full semester. So if you're a student and you're a super high performing one and you want to take the SAT prep course, then this one is for you. So you would write SAT prep on two spaces because it's a semester that takes up two nine weeks and put a check to the left of it in that column. Now, I know you say, hey, Mr. Giles, it says read 180 on here. Yeah. Well, Read 180 class, <clears throat> we will communicate to those students who will be in Read 180. We'll, we'll call you up and talk to you. You don't actually vote on that one. So those are your language arts electives. You with me? All right, let's talk about some math electives. We've got two math electives. One of them is personal finance. Show me the money, right? Personal finance. You need to learn to manage your money. And you know what? Students don't know anything about managing their money. I think it's an awesome course. Personal finance is a nine weeks course. So if you want to take personal finance, you put a check by it and then write over there in one of those slots, personal finance. Also, the other math elective is Math Lab. This is a course that you may select if you're having uh, difficulties in math and who doesn't. 
a lot of people struggle with math, take Math Lab. That is also a nine weeks course, so you would write in one of those slots to the right, Math Lab, and put a check by it, and that concludes the math electives. Let's talk about some science electives. Oh man, we got some awesome science electives. The one that I love the most probably is medical detectives. Oh, medical detectives is cool. It's like a forensics class. Has anybody here ever watched like CSI or NCIS where Abby and the crew do all this cool stuff in the lab to catch the bad guy who murdered somebody or something? This is a forensics class. I saw this class at another school and just fell in love with it. I think medical detectives is going to be super cool. Uh, Ms. Tiffany Graham is going to be teaching this class down on 7th grade hall. It's open to both 7th and 8th graders. So if you want to take medical detectives, it's a nine weeks class on one of those, by, on one of those lines out there to the right. Right now, medical detectives and check the box to the left of medical detectives. Also, we're having an AWIM class. A lot of you participated in AWIM. What we will be doing with AWIM, it'll be AWIM and other STEM type activities. It'll be hands-on science activities that are related to science, technology, engineering, and math. It's building cool things, make cars go, and do the other stuff. I love AWIM because I like doing that science hands-on stuff. I would love to be able to take this course. It is a nine weeks course. If you want to take AWIM, write AWIM over there to the right and check the box. And also we have a science support class. If you're, if you're going to be a seventh grader next year, check science support seven. If you're going to be an eighth grader, check science support eight. That's for these students. Some students struggle in science. Science is hard for some and it's easy for others. Uh, if you need a course to help you beef up your capabilities so you'll do extra good on, this, on the Georgia Milestones in the eighth grade or any science test, this is the course for you, it's nine weeks also. So out to the right, you'd write science support. And we also have a, co a course called science research. This is an advanced course. If you're a gifted student or you're just a student who just loves science, you don't even have to be gifted. You just have to be ready to work at a high level, okay? That's only a nine weeks course. Jump in there and take science research and do some cool things in your science class. That's also a nine weeks course. You would write out here to the right, science research, and that would be one of your eight courses. And that concludes all of your science electives. Social studies, my personal favorite, of course, because I was a social studies teacher. Let me tell you what we got going on. Social studies, we have debate. Uh-huh. As much as y'all like to argue, you would love debate. Debate is a course, in this particular course, it's a nine weeks course where, you'll, where you will learn the art of debating and we will do this using historical primary source documents. It's a great class to prep, prep you for high school, and this is an upper level class. You don't have to be a gifted student to take it. Gifted students can take it, and anybody can take it, but be prepared to work at a little bit higher level, but it should be a lot of fun. We also have, and that's a nine weeks course. If you wanna take debate, write it over here to the right. Current events, current events is exactly what I said. It's talking about what's going on in the world today, and you guys astound me. You have no idea what's going on in the world. There's so much cool stuff. So if you want to want to examine the world around you when current events, you take current events and write down current events in the right. It's a nine-week course also. We have a social studies support. It's like science support. If you struggle with social studies, if you're not confident in yourself, that you'll do well on uh, the eighth grade milestones or just in general, write down social studies support and you'll go put you in social studies support class. It's nine weeks. So in one blank over here, write social studies support. And the other course in social studies electives, and this is super cool and only open to eighth graders, sorry seventh graders, that is pre-AP world history. If you don't know what that means, AP is a term for high school courses called advanced placement courses. In high school advanced placement courses, if you take the course and then take the AP test and make a three or better, you get college credit. So this course is preparing you to go to Troop High School and take AP World History there. It's going to be a super cool class and I wish I could teach it because I just love world history 
and I know this is going to be a great course to take, pre-AP World History. It is a semester long course. So you have to put pre-AP World History in two of these blanks. All right, and that concludes our social studies electives. Okay, now we're going to take a look at a, uh, the courses under the academic electives column. Now, if you're a current seventh grader, you will notice in the very first line, I've already filled it in for you because that's just how nice a guy I am. And it says Keystone. All eighth graders will take the Keystone course. It's nine weeks long. If you're a sixth grader going to the seventh grade, you can't take this course, so don't write it down. The next one, though, is going to be super cool. That's Academic Bowl. If you're a student who likes, if you want to compete in the Academic Bowl, then you will take this course. Uh, you will go in to, and it's a, it, is, it is two nine weeks long. It's a semester course. There will be six sixth graders, six seventh graders, and six eighth graders. Don't put it on your schedule yet. Please do not put it on this sheet. We will have academic team tryouts in August. If you want to try out to be on the academic team, and you have to be on the academic team to be in the academic bowl class. So even if you want to be in on the team, just act like it doesn't even exist. Try out in August, make the team, and we'll change your schedule to accommodate academic bowl. All right, the third class, man, this is so fun. Intro to chess, introduction to chess. Does anybody know how to play chess? Is anybody in this school any good at chess? Do you think you can beat Mr. Giles in chess? Well, I might just give you the chance to try. If you sign up for introduction to chess for nine weeks, you can play chess every day for 75 minutes a day and you can get to be super good. Chess is an exciting game. It's really cool. It causes you to have to think critically. You have to plan in advance. It's not an easy game. It's not like checkers, man. Chess is something that makes you be a thinker. So we're going to have a chess class. Or if you just want to learn how to play chess, if you've never played chess before, sign up for chess. It's a nine weeks course, so you'll write chess out here on one of these lines, and maybe you can be on you can you will be on the chess class. And put a little check to the right of it over there in that column. Ambassadors. The ambassadors are a, a team of students who will spend the first nine weeks going to a leadership type course. The ambassadors will serve the school for the course of the year, but you'll only have the course for the first nine weeks. And what the ambassadors do is, when we have, uh, let's say we have a new student that shows up. Well, you might get called to the office and you would say, hey, this is a uh, this is our new student here, would you please, and here's the schedule, would you walk the student and show him or show her where his new, where new classes are? Also, show them where the cafeteria is, show them where the library is, show them where the gym is, okay? Make them feel at home, and then you would walk around and say, hey, my name is so-and-so, let me show you all this stuff, okay? When we have visitors come to the school, the ambassadors will greet them, you'll get a super cool looking shirt and uh, you'll be exactly what the word is. You'll be an ambassador of the school to those coming in. It's, uh, I think it's gonna be a really good uh, club. We've never done this before. It'll be both a, a course for the first nine weeks and you'll be a part of this club for the rest of the year. But I think you'll learn a lot. Uh, it, we, if you need to be a mature person. You need to be a well-spoken, well-presented person, have some confidence and just the desire to meet people and uh, represent Long Cane well. If you want to be an ambassador, write it down there. Ambassadors, one nine weeks. The last one is InVenture Challenge. It's a semester long course. And this is a, a competitive course, and it's out of Georgia Tech in Atlanta. And it is a STEM type activity where you're given a really big problem to solve. And as a team, the students have to solve this problem and prepare some sort of presentation or something to demonstrate how they solve the problem. And then representatives of the team will actually go up to Atlanta, to Georgia Tech, to present their, their resolution. I think it's cool. If you want to be a part of something like this, it's a semester long, so you have to write InVenture on two of the lines, okay? 
And that concludes all of our academic electives. Physical education. Tell the truth. How many of y'all would just like to take PE all day every year? I know some of y'all are out there, so this is going to be for you. We're going to have several courses available this year. And what that means is for nine weeks, you're going to do that thing. One of them is going to be weight training. If you want to be big and beefy strong, take weight training. But, oh, wait a minute, ladies. You don't have to be a dude to take weight training. We're going to have boys' weight training class, and we're going to have a girls' weight training class. That way them smelly boys don't have to be around you when you're in there trying to work out. And, and the weight room belongs to the ladies just like it does the boys. So if you want to take nine weeks of weight training, on the column out there to the right, just write weight training. The next one is aerobics, and this will be for ladies only. And this will be Miss Serenity Graham will be teaching the course. And every day for, for nine weeks, she'll be working y'all out down there, doing all sorts of cool things, doing some body pump, doing some, uh, probably some Zumba, doing some, a little bit of weight training. Who knows, maybe out there on a cross country course. But I know this, it will be a ton of fun with an exciting teacher, and you'll probably get in much better shape, lose some weight, feel better about yourself, be awesome. So ladies, consider aerobics. It's a nine-week course. Write it out there on the column to the right, aerobics on just one line. Team sports. We're going to have team sports if you're interested. Uh, well, uh, that's a nine-week course. So write it out there to the right, team sports. Volleyball. This is a this is an offering for our young ladies. This will be a nine weeks course, but we're doing it first nine weeks and second nine weeks only. And here's the criteria: if you're a young lady and you did not play on Long Cane's A team last year, if you played on our A team last year, you can't be in this course. This is a beginning volleyball. Okay. And, and also, this also means you're not playing at Troop High on their JV team. This is a beginning course. It's nine weeks long. If you're interested, put down volleyball. I think this will go a long way with skills development to get you ready for the spring volleyball season. And finally, in what could be the coolest class around, Coach Whitmore will be teaching sports management and sports statistics. So if you're interested in learning sports management and sports statistics, it's a nine weeks course. Write it down, sports management. And that concludes our PE courses. All right, guys. Let's take a look at those fine art selectives. Now, um, now for both band and chorus, they're both the same. They're both year-long courses. Now, there will be some situations where some students just don't have a year, okay? So if, if you're one of those students where you only have like three, nine weeks that you can choose and you want to be in band, then we'll work it out for you. But for everybody else, it's a year-long course. So if you want to be in band, you'll write down band on four of the lines. If you want to be in chorus, you'll write down chorus, 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 chorus. That's four, nine weeks. But we're having a three levels, beginning, intermediate, and advanced. See, last year we had sixth grade band, seventh grade band, and eighth grade band. Now, if you're in the seventh grade this year and you played a sixth grade band, excuse me, let's say it the other way around. If you're in the sixth grade this year and you're going to be in the seventh grade next year, there's probably you're probably going to be in the intermediate band. Uh, but if you're like some super talented child prodigy that can just play the French horn so good, uh, that's up to the band teacher. We may bounce all the way up to the advanced course. So I encourage everybody to work really hard. There's no reason at all that seventh graders who are really talented and put in the work can't be in the advanced band. So that'll be a decision that your band teacher will make. That'll be a decision that your chorus teachers make. Uh, otherwise, sixth graders will be in the beginning band, seventh graders intermediate band, eighth graders advanced band, okay? So if you want to be in band or chorus, write it in the right in four columns. Also, we have music appreciation. If you want to be in music appreciation, where you learn some basic music theory and music history, you don't have to be a musician, nor do you even have to be able to sing well to be in this course. It's a nine weeks course, write it on the right. 
and we get down to some just super cool art classes. Art class is going to be different this year, y'all. We're going to have a drawing and painting art course, and we're also going to have a sculpture and pottery course. So if you want to be in, and each are nine-week courses, so if you want to be in drawing or painting, out on the right, write it down, drawing slash painting or sculpture slash pottery in one line because it's a nine-week course. So if you're like really like a, just an uh, art buff and you want to take drawing and painting one nine weeks and sculpture and pottery the next nine weeks, you can do that, okay? You can put them both down there. And that concludes our fine arts electives. Okay, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about our career exploration electives. And we have quite a few, and I am so excited about this stuff. It's going to be so cool. The first course that we're going to have, this is going to be through the roof, is, is agriculture. We're going to have an ag class. Agriculture at Troop High School is a huge thing. It's a really big thing. It, when you join, when you, excuse me, when you, you take ag, you also join FFA. And FFA is, a, is just a huge organization, student organization in the state of Georgia. If you join, if you take ag and join FFA, uh, you'll get to go to conferences and rallies. We're going to have, we're already, we already have a $50,000 grant coming to purchase a big, humongous greenhouse. Uh, we have, we're putting in 15 raised beds out back. Now, these beds are 12 feet long, four feet wide, two feet tall. We're going to be growing all kind of flowers. We're going to be growing all kind of vegetables. Um, we're going to be planting some fruit trees and some nut trees. We're going to be growing ornamentals in the greenhouse. Um, it's going to be so much fun. And uh, Miss Hart will be teaching, will be the ag teacher for next year. Ag is a nine weeks course. So if you want to take ag, and I really hope you do, then you're going to, on one of the slots to the right, on just one of them, you're going to write ag. So, okay. The next course is Introduction to Family and Consumer Science Sciences. This is the course that used to be called Home Ec back in the day. Uh, is our, with this particular course, We'll be doing some things, learning to budget, learning some basic child care, help you be better prepared to do things around the house. This is a nine weeks course also. So if you want to take Intro to Family and Consumer Science or FACTS, Family and Consumer Science is FACTS, to the right, one of those blanks, write FACTS, okay? And also put a little check mark in the column beside the courses that you want to take. Uh, one of the engineering and technology courses we have, and this one is, I'm, I'm really jazzed about this, is called Design and Modeling. In Design and Modeling, it'll be taught in the tech ed room. Uh, you'll learn the processes for uh, engineering and how to design things. And each class, in each team in the class, your, your final project will be to make a game or a toy for children with cerebral palsy. So not only is this a cool engineering class, you actually has a service component where you get to make a toy or a game that goes to a child with cerebral palsy. So if you want to take design and modeling, that's a nine weeks course, put a check beside design and modeling and out in the little blank, write design and modeling. The next one is, and I'm really excited about this one too, because I like this introduction to audio visual and film or AV Tech. AV stands for audio visual. You're like, what's audio visual, Mr. Giles? It's this camera that you're, that's filming me talking to you. We have two fully equipped green screen rooms right now in this school. We got one in the media center and we got a brand new one that's just been constructed in the tech head room. So you'll learn to do uh, the filming, the editing, all the processes that go with it and also learn about films. We're trying to work out some field trips or at least a field trip that goes with this. And also, <clears throat> this is a really good way to get on the broadcast team. So if you want to take uh, intro to AV and film, write AV Tech, AV Tech 
and the little lot one of the lines because it's a nine week course one nine weeks and check next to intro to AV and film and then there's drone technology. Who likes to fly drones? I love to fly drones and I'm terrible, but I bet some of y'all are pretty good. But you know what? You don't even have to know how to fly drones. Take drone tech. It's a nine weeks course. We have three different types of drones. We have 16 drones ordered right now. We have 12 of them that are indoor drones. We have three of them that are outdoor drones and have the screen on them so you can actually fly it and see what the drone is seeing. And we have one that's like a professional quality drone that can fly over a mile away and take professional quality video. And we're also going to have a club that accompanies this course called Drone Olympics. And once every nine weeks, we'll compete against the other schools do, doing like precision flying courses and speed courses. And it will, you'll, have both, um, you'll have both individual awards and team awards. And how fun is this going to be? If you want to take drone tech, and I hope you do, it's a nine weeks course. Put a check beside drone technology and write drone tech in one of the lines and hopefully we can get you in one of those courses. Now, green power tech. Green power tech, uh, it's actually green power USA technology. We're calling it green power tech. This is um, a course that it's three nine weeks long. So this is a big commitment. It's first nine weeks, second nine weeks, and third nine weeks. But what it is is we have this this car, we purchased a car kit, and you can probably see what one of them looks like behind me now. This is the car from Liberty Middle School in Madison, Alabama, where we visited. Uh, and they have a Green Power uh, Tech team, and schools around the country also have these. And you assemble the car, and it has to be completely done by students. And you learn the principles of renewable energy. You also learn uh, a little bit of auto tech, and you learn to work. Uh, you learn to work together as a team and apply engineering principles in not just building this car, but making it work as as efficiently as possible. And then you go race it. This car goes at the astonishing speed of 23 miles an hour. Um, that's not super fast, by the way. And the, and the goal is to see how many laps you can make. Whoever makes the most laps wins. And we do anticipate some field trips with this. We hope we can make at least one overnight field trip to Huntsville, Alabama and race against all the teams up there. We'll probably be racing at some teams in Atlanta. And we'll have some races down here in Troop County. So if you want to be a part of the Green Power USA car team, then take Green Power Tech, and you've got to put it on three lines, green power, green power, green power, because that's first, second, and third nine weeks. And, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you this too. This is not just a boy class. Of the teams that I've seen, there's a lot of, uh, there's actually a lot of YouTube videos out there. If you type in uh, green power car or green power racing, about half of the people on the teams are girls. So there's a lot of, lot of room to do a lot of different stuff. It's not all just racing cars. It's the whole team. Somebody has to do the planning for the team, somebody has to register for the races, somebody has to actually do uh, the cars, make them look good, uh, get, them, get them presentable, get them painted, get them designed. So get involved with the Green Power Tech. And the final offering that we have for career exploration electives is Exploring Pathways in Marketing. This is a marketing class. If you wanna to learn to get into marketing, and another good thing about this is uh, at Think Academy and at Troop High, they have really robust marketing programs. So this is a great time to learn about marketing. It's a nine weeks course. You just check beside marketing and out to the right, write marketing. Okay, those, so let me just go over all those career exploration courses again. Ag, basic agriculture, family and consumer science, or facts, design and modeling, AV film, drone tech, green power tech, and marketing. How cool can this get, guys? Be sure to take advantage of uh, all the different variety of these offerings that are available. All right, guys, I, this, I've talked to you a lot. I know this has probably gone fast, but that's okay. One of the reasons I wanted to film this instead of just calling everybody into the cafeteria and talking to you about it is so you can watch it again if you'd like. All of you have the sheet right now in front of you that lists all the different courses on it, okay? 
So, you know, you have to, you have to kind of try to work it out to get what you want. Now, again, it's not reasonable to think that everybody's going to get every course that they want. That's not the way it works. What is reasonable to th do is that you'll probably get some of the courses that you want. And that is so much better than how we've done it in the past because in the past, you don't get a choice. Beyond band or course, you just don't get a choice. You just come to school, we hand you a schedule and say, these are your classes, go to them. Now you get a choice and that is so cool. There's so much here for so many different people. You know, if you're like one of them super academic high performers, look at all the high level classes that you can select. You get to select them. If you're like an, uh, an athlete, a jock, and you want to do all these different athletic uh, electives, look at all the ones that you get to pick. Uh, if you're into, you know, building things, doing things with your hands, engineering stuff, man, you got so many courses that are available to you now. And look how unique some of the courses are. How would you like to, how cool it would be to go to, to class every day and you spend it outside digging in the dirt, planting flowers, planting vegetables, taking care of a really big garden that we're going to have outside, working in a greenhouse. How much fun is that, right? We're going to actually sell the produce. Uh, we're going to sell the flowers and uh, to put money back into the programs. How would you like to be a part of programs where you load up and maybe go overnight to Huntsville, Alabama, get up in the morning, and then a race team, which is about 15 people, you know, you pull your car out and you get out there and you compete for the morning uh, and meet a bunch of other students from a bunch of other schools that also have electric race cars. You know, this is exciting, y'all. This is cool stuff that we've never had an opportunity to do. And I, I, you know, I'm, I don't want to reiterate all of the courses. I just want to say take advantage of the opportunity to do super cool things. I need you to make sure that you go home and discuss this with your parents now. That being said, let me tell you where you're going to see this video. You're going to see this video on our school's YouTube channel. Uh, on the, that's our, in the, it's the Cougar Chat channel. I think it's the name of the channel, Cougar Chat. You're going to see this video on Facebook. I'm going to send this video home with our Cougar Chat email. And we also tweet it out. So there's lots of different places that you can go to to watch this very video with your parents. Most importantly, let them watch it so they can see what, what the course offerings are. And then I want you to bring this form back tomorrow. I want you to bring it back and give it to the, your homeroom teacher or whoever you, whichever teacher's class you watch this in. And, and then next week on Monday, I think the seventh graders, I don't know what it is. See, there's Monday the sixth graders and Tuesday the seventh graders. Go to the lab. We're going to give you your sheet back, and you're actually going to take this sheet, and you're going to enter it into the computer to make the request for your elective classes. And that's how it's going to work. And then we're going to hang on to the sheet just to make sure that we, you know, keep, keep them together. And next year, when you come for registration, uh, early Cougar registration or regular registration, and you're going to get your schedule, and you're going to, go, you're going to be so excited. You're going to be like, oh, man. I got my AV tech class, I got my drone tech class, and I got medical detectives, and I'm in ag. That is like the best schedule ever. And you, you know what? You're right. It will be the best schedule ever. And it'll be cool because you picked your courses, okay? So anyway, I just want to tell everybody how much I appreciate you guys paying attention today as you're sitting there with your teachers. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask your teachers. Uh, be sure to carry the form home tonight and get them back. You know, one of the funny things about middle school students, sometimes once they put the form in their book bag and leave, they never come back. Hard to believe, right? Please take care of these forms. Please carry them home. Please show it to your parents. Tell them what you want to take. Uh, please get them to watch this short video if they have time, and please get them to sign that form and bring it back to your homeroom teachers. And, they, you know, if you do that, we're golden. All right? All right, guys, hope you have a great day, and I'm so looking forward to the next school year.